Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Panel Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be an unboxing video. And it's going to be something I almost said different. It's not different by any means. But what I have here is pretty cool and, and fairly rare for the United States. Uh, this is something I've waited for for a long, long time for someone to make. And it came the whole way from Australia. So I'm really, really excited about that. That's a little hint there, obviously, of what... Uh, you know what's to be expected i am really really stoked about this i don't use the word stoked very often but i'm stoked about this uh this is not in the united states as far as i know yet i'm hoping that green light does bring them in the united states and i think it will sell fairly well for them if they do decide to to release it here as far as i know as of to date uh right now beginning of march uh, it's 2020 this has not been released in the United States as far as I could find anyway. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up and uh, we'll get started. I'm not sure which end is up here with this, so I'm going to have to be, I guess, kind of careful. Looks like it's well packaged. Really, really excited about this. If anybody, if you guys know me, uh, I am a huge, huge Mad Max fan, especially the first movie from 1979. And this is something I've been longing for and hoping that Auto Art actually makes one. I uh, don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but you never know. Let's just tear it off of there. I'm so excited. Dun, dun, dun. First of the V8 interceptors. Really cool, really awesome packaging right out of the box. DDA collectible series, artisan collection. As far as I know, though, it is made by Greenlight. Doesn't say that anywhere here, but. 068.1 seconds where it all began. Starting life was a Ford XB Falcon. And it has some history here, 120 mile an hour top speed. But essentially, uh, bottom line is this is a 1974 Ford Falcon XB four door. Very cool. Let's get started on this. I am like really excited. I'm really, really, really excited about this. Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah, here it says green light collectibles. But you get a certificate as MFP. Certificate in there. We'll have to check that out then. I'm not sure what that... Oh, here's the light bar. That's pretty cool. The little light bars there. Oh, wow. This seems to be packaged pretty darn nice for a green light car, I must say. I'll be careful swinging a razor around. Uh, I'm excited about this. Uh, and I should have my gloves. I really should have my gloves on. So this must not be bolted down. Doesn't I don't see any screws on the bottom. Really, really should have my gloves, but I don't feel like running and getting them. Wow, the packaging job is just as nice as auto art, I must say. Pretty, pretty, pretty uh, surprised by that, to be honest with you. I got to see what this is. The price for this was not bad. I don't think. Uh, probably maybe about $30 more than what it would cost once they start selling them here in the United States. Shipping was not bad at all for, I got in under a week, I believe it was, or about a week. That's really, there's nothing really special there, but that's that card. I just wanted to see it and see what the hoopla was over that. Probably not as cool as I thought it was going to be, but I will. So let's stick the light bar on and uh, see what's it doing with that.
I'm really excited. Okay, so I don't know. I should probably look up pictures where they show the red on the driver's side. So we'll do, we'll put it that way. The red will be on the driver's side. I don't know if I'm supposed to glue that myself at some point because it sure doesn't seem like it wants to stay on there, but. All right, so here we go. We have it up on the turntable, obviously. Uh, looks really cool. I am pretty excited to have this in my collection. I can't believe it's here on my workbench. The dark one. So this is Max's car. I uh, wonder if they'll make the Big Bopper's car. That is another a question for another time. Um, this does have doors that open. I don't think the boot or trunk, as we say in the United States, the trunk and the hood or bonnet does not open, unfortunately. Uh, but the doors do open on this. Here we can kind of see the interior it's a very odd brown and tan mixed together the seats are almost like a, a light pinkish tan color i think that's kind of an optical illusion though from from the two colors mixed together let's get a little closer here There's a good shot of the speaker console, if I can get this to focus. So at least it has some detail, the roof console. Let's take a look at the underside, there we go. Not the greatest, obviously, uh, typical green light. Now it does say green light 2018 on the bottom. And I am really, really hoping that these come to America. I, th I personally think it would sell uh, fairly well. I think most people that are going to pay over $50 for one of these are going to want the hood to open, to be honest with you. Uh, let's take a look at the back ones. Exhaust could be a lot better. That looks pretty, pretty dinky, but I'm sure the real, the real car, if you go and do still shots of the, from the video are going to be dinky like that as well. But we do have the MFP plate with the rounded font, which looks fairly correct. Uh, the red lighting, the red lights, the, the lenses look really, really pink though, for whatever reason in this lighting, but the gas cap looks really nice. And like I had mentioned on my other video with the uh, black interceptor, I love their, their decal. I'm pretty sure it says maintain right on there, which is the correct. That's what it looks like, maintain right. Uh, their, their decal looks really good. I'm not crazy about how the light bar bends down once you attach it. It's just pushed into place there. Um, I don't really care much for that. Quite a bit of orange peel on the trunk lid you can see right there. And a big scratch, not a real bad scratch, but enough that I'll have to wax that out. You can kind of see it there, right there, you can see it. I'll wax that out, but boy, there's some nasty orange peel there. It's definitely not an auto art quality. Uh, the yellow paint on the hood is awfully thin as well in spots. Appears to be like a single stage paint. It's not bad though the uh, striping job we have a little bit of an issue right here but it's really not i was really concerned about the striping job i thought it might not be that great when i get it but i thought I'd take a chance uh the siren looks pretty decent on the roof i think that looks pretty good i have uh some better lights that i might add to this then at some point pretty dirty the sides here so I don't know it looks to me like this was pre-owned we got pretty couple 
couple nasty issues with the paint right here. Looks like it was handled when the paint wasn't even dry yet. You can kind of see that it looks pretty, pretty gross. I might be able to wet sand that out. I don't know what's going on there. That there, I believe, is just adhesive. Yeah, it's adhesive over there. But these two spots are, that's kind of a disappointment. But uh, this is definitely, it's definitely green light quality. I mean, it's not going to be auto art quality. And it looks like there's fingerprints on the inside of the, looks like there's fingerprints on the inside of the back glass here, which I could probably get in with a swab or something and try to get that out. But that's a little frustrating. Overall, though, I'm pretty pretty happy with it for what I paid for it. I mean, it's... Oh, we didn't even look at the front, did we? I don't think we did. Very... There's the front. Looks wicked. I think the spoiler and everything looks great. Really cool. Headlights could be a hair better. I like the little Falcon... Little Falcon logo looks pretty good on the front grille. It's definitely your typical green light, um, the way it's constructed. Am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Could be a little bit better. Um, uh, quality con control could be a little bit better. Uh, might be why this guy was willing to sell his. I'm not really sure. Uh, pretty sure it wasn't listed as used though. Some, um, maybe all the fingerprints and stuff that was on it was. Um, that way from the uh, factory in China, which wouldn't really surprise me. I've gotten vehicles before direct and uh, that were supposed to be new in a box and um, they have plenty of fingerprints. That's really nothing new there. We'll spin it around one more time and then I'll get some shots, some try to get some better shots of the interior. And if you like this type of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up share it if you know anyone that likes mad max diecast collectibles i have plenty of other mad max stuff on my channel and hit the bell for notifications subscribe if you're not subscribe it's free you can't be free and i will see you guys later have a good night thanks for watching see you guys soon all right bye now